Hi FlossTube, it's Lorraine with Rags to Stitches USA. Today is Monday, July 29th, and I am back for a, a video. It's been a while, so I apologize for that. Um, I haven't had a lot actually to report about, um, but I do have a little bit of an update, so I wanna um, stop in and say hi, and this thing keeps sliding down, so I apologize if I keep having to adjust. Um, let's see what I've been up to. I haven't worked on a whole lot of stitching. I've been doing a lot of quilting because um, I need to do a, a project for our Christmas in July at work. So that has taken up the majority of my time, probably since my last video. Um, but I have done a little bit of stitching. I did participate in Stitch Mania this year. I wasn't going to because I want to focus on my Stitch 9 challenge, but um, I didn't want to miss out on the fun either. So here the things just keep sinking. <laughs> oh well, I'll just keep, I'll just keep adjusting. Um, I didn't want to miss out on the fun. So I decided that I would break out my His Eyes on the Sparrow because I really had just a little bitty start on that. I had started that back when my mom, when I was taking care of my mom and had not worked on it since. So I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to um, do a little bit of work on that for my Stitch Mania. So I decided to kind of follow Lynette, um, homesteading on the home front, kind of follow her lead. And I decided to do one motif a day. I thought that's doable. It won't, uh, put me too far behind on my stitch nine challenge <laughs> mm. and uh, <laughs> um, and it'll get it'll help me to make a little bit of progress so um, I'll show you where I am now with my um, his eye is on the sparrow I should have ironed this and I didn't and I apologize for that I wasn't planning on making a video tonight. I, I've been wanting to make one for the last several days, actually, and I just have not had the time to do that. And it dawned on me tonight that, um, let's see, what time is it now? It's going on 10 o'clock, that my son is leaving in the morning to go back to school. And he had agreed to help me edit this video. So I have got to get this thing whipped out so he can help me edit it before he goes back to school tomorrow. So, these are the little motifs that I worked on for Stitch Mania. It was a lot of fun. I really did enjoy this, and I kind of was a little bit sad when it was over. But I will get back to this at some point, but I want to focus more on my Stitch 9 challenge. So, this will get put away for just a little bit. Um, I did go to Stitch Con. I did go to Stitch Con this year, and... Um, worked on my chart from Needlework Press in all things be exceedingly diligent. Let's open that up so you can see the whole chart. I love working on this one actually. This is one that um, was designed by one of our local needlework, local needles I can't even think it's almost <laughs> one of our shop owners um, that had owned a shop in Marietta she designed this um, several years ago and unfortunately she passed away before um, it was ever published so now that it's published I am honored to get to stitch this that Susan designed so this is how far I have come along with that so I think I'm I think I'm finished with everything on this side. So then as you come along, I think I'm finished until I get to the house down there at the bottom. And then from there over, I need to get finished. But that shouldn't take me too much longer, I don't think. So that's where I am with this one. I really, really love this one. So I'm excited to be getting closer to the end on that one. Um, that's 
really the main things I've worked on. I worked on, um, uh -oh, I worked on some of the, um, some of the um, Year of Celebration um, by Hands On Design. Uh, the little monthly pieces I have worked on some of those and I and I forgot to bring those in and I know you've seen all of those That is also part of my stitch nine challenge. So uh, I will get that done. I'm sure um, by the end of the year um, There is um, a gal by the name of Jen Lee and she has a floss tube and she has been doing a challenge and I'm just I'm always a little bit I'm kind of two beats behind sometimes. So I'm a little bit late in, in getting to this party, but she's doing a 24 hours of cross stitch and she has these little um, different challenges each month. So I'm gonna try to do that this month. Um, this is the, the challenge this month. She's, uh, she's got a couple of other challenges that can kinda go along with it. You know, uh, different holidays that you can, um, stitch and um, I think with this 24 hours of cross stitch you're you're committing to or you're going to try to um, um, stitch for 24 hours during the month but then there's also a separate challenge this month where there is going to be like a, a 48 hour period and uh, she's kind of challenging us to stitch for 24 hours during that 48 hour period. And I think I'm going to try that. Uh, I may be stitching with some friends that weekend. So that will actually work out pretty well, I think. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, I was looking for something in an old storage bin the other day. And I ran across this piece. I don't have it dated, um, so I'm not sure exactly when I stitched this, but I think, I think this was in the very first, um, maybe Cross Stitch and Country Crafts, or there was a magazine, and this was in the premier issue, and I don't remember what the name of the magazine was. I've, I have zigzagged around it, but it also feels like I, um, what is that stuff you put on it to stiffen it up? like fray check or something like that. I think I also put fray check on it. Um, I don't even know when this is, but y'all may recognize this guy with the little Amish children. This was stuck in a drawer of a storage bin, so it's kind of all wrinkled up. I could have I could have ironed it, but like I say, I threw this together really quick when I realized that my son only had tonight to help me with this. So I thought this was kind of fun to find and um, I probably won't ever frame it, but it was, it's something I don't, I wanna hang on to because this may have been one of my first, no, I don't think it was. I was gonna say one of my first counted cross stitch projects, but I don't think it was. But it is sweet nonetheless. Wish I had dated it, but I didn't. But when I found this one, <laughs> When I found this one, I also found um, this. And I have no idea what this chart is. Um, no, I know nothing about this. So if this looks vaguely familiar to anybody, would you please let me know? I, you know, I have a, just a little start on it, but I would like to not completely abandon it if I could figure out what chart this is and where it came from. So if anybody has a clue on that, if you if you would, please let me know. Am I making y'all seasick? I'm sorry about that. Okay, I um, filmed a little film clip of the quilt that I made for the shop. Um, I videotaped it the other day before I was really getting ready to go to work. And so I'm gonna see if my son can um, splice that in right here. Good morning, Floss Tube. Um, I was gonna say it's Lorraine with Rags to Stitches USA, but you probably already know this because my plan is to record this little snippet before I go to work. And then um, this afternoon when I get home from work, I will record the rest of my video. But I do have a quilt that I wanted to show you. Um, that I made for um, a shop 
it'll be a shop sample for a while and then I'll get to bring it home and it'll be a quilt for my granddaughter. And um, I'm taking it into the shop today and so I won't be able to show it at any other time, at least for a while. So I wanted to go ahead and videotape a small segment this morning and my son is home from school until I think he goes back next Monday. So I'm hoping that he can help me edit this because I still don't know how to edit. So I'm hoping he'll be able to help me splice this part into my video. So the quilt that I made for Christmas in July for the shop is a quilt by Lori Holt. She put out a book called um, Vintage Christmas. I'll show you that book. There we go. This is a great... Um, a great book. All of these um, individual blocks are separate patterns that you can um, do projects with individually or you can put them all together and put them in this quilt. These um, blocks that are pictured are six inch blocks that they put all together into a quilt. Um, the quilt that I made, I made using 12 inch blocks and this little girl, this little doll pattern here. Um, and I think it turned out really, really cute. There are lots of ideas in the back of this book um, showing you different uh, projects that you can make, table runners and um, placemats and um, pillows and um, tea towels and all kinds of uh, really new, neat um, projects. Hot pads, um, some are lap quilts, some can be larger. I don't really want, well I guess I could. Um, I don't really want to show any of the patterns, but um, this is a great book. Lori Holt has um, just fun fabrics that she uses. Um, not typically the, oops, not the fabrics that I would typically use. I'm more of a kind of a reproduction girl myself. Um, but these are fun. They kind of have almost a 30s vibe, but not really. Um, anyway, enough talking. Let me get to my quilt. So let's see, I don't know the best way to show this on here. <clears throat> Probably not going to be able to show the whole thing. Okay, I'll show the top part. It has these little sweet dolls. And then the middle part looks like a picnic blanket. Here, I'll show all the dolls first, maybe. I tried to do a wide variety of little girls. Um, because I'm hoping that my granddaughter will be able to use this to have little tea parties with her dolls or as she gets a little bit older, even with her friends. I can't remember where I started. <laughs> this may be where I started, I'm not sure. But anyway, you get the idea. Let's see if I can back up enough. No way. Um, okay, well, anyway, it's, um, it's much bigger than, I can almost show the whole thing in there. That's the width, it's square, so it's this big square. Anyway, it was, um, ordinarily it would have been a lot of fun to make, but, um, I went to StitchCon, and I'll, I'll probably talk about this some in my video, but I went to StitchCon um, and, and got a migraine before I left to come home, and I have had a migraine ever since. <laughs> so that has been, this would be day 27, I think. So it's made it a little difficult for me to work on this, but um, 
I plowed through and got it done. And I'm so glad that I did. I think my granddaughter will enjoy this. I will enjoy having tea parties with my granddaughter on it. So um, I think that that's it for right now. At least I got to show it to you before I took it to work. Hope you're all having a great day. Y'all, that hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was at a, uh, a period where I was not really feeling my greatest. I'm feeling better now. Thank you very much. I'm thankful that um, the worst of those headaches are now behind me. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. Everybody's got, as my friend Diane says, all God's children got issues. So migraines are mine. That's just the way it is. That is about all I can think of that I need to go over with you guys today. Hopefully, now that I've got that quilt behind me, I will be able to stitch a little bit more. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I've missed it, missed it big time. So um, I've got to get on the stick and get um, a few more of my Stitch 9 Challenge things under my belt because I think I really have only completed one or two, I can't remember. Um, not many. So I really want to get those done. So in the meantime, um, hope you're all able to work on some things that you love too. Talk to you soon.